Hello and welcome to a series of videos about EcoStructure GeoSCADA Expert, the remote SCADA and telemetry software from Schneider Electric. I'm Steve and I'm going to review in this video how you can examine GeoSCADA's logic and get the best performance from its configuration. In our GeoSCADA Expert Performance Guidelines document, we list the various activities which affect performance. We previously covered point updates and setup issues in the last two videos, and in this we'll focus on logic performance, some do's and don'ts and diagnostic checks. A GeoSCADA logic program is written in a high level language or it's graphically designed, then it's compiled and saved to the database. The program's properties determine how often the program is run or the conditions which cause the program to run. Programs to be run are added to a queue, and reducing the number of executing programs is important for performance. And you can see that a program has run from its view status box. There are three steps to a program run. Read inputs before queuing, execute, and write output. Let's consider how logic affects the database with exclusive write locks and shared read locks. We want to keep both types of lock time low, but especially the write locks. The write outputs phase will naturally use a write lock, so ensure that you use the setting update changed outputs only. The read inputs phase, on the other hand, is write locked only in some execution types, such as execution on input processed. Other execution types, such as on interval, use a read lock for read inputs and therefore have less impact. When inputs are read during the write lock, you should avoid the kind of inputs which can take some time to evaluate. Specifically, these are SQL queries and historic data retrieval. Naturally, you should keep these kinds of demanding operations to a minimum, avoiding them if possible. If you do need them, you can defer these inputs to a read lock after queuing by adding the no cache keyword. Here's an example showing the change. The impact on performance can be significant for a system. Tag value inputs in the no cache section won't be able to initiate logic execution, which you can then take advantage of. For example, if you have an on input process program with three separate inputs, it will get executed for changes of every input, but you could make it execute when just one of them changes using no cache on the other two. There's a lot more about execution, such as prioritization, queue limits, change detection, and writing changes only. You can find out more by pressing F1 for help when you're editing program properties. The next part of this video covers how to look for performance issues and potential improvements. Use Vuex to open the query logic execution status. Some of the columns in this table contain useful information about how the set of programs in GeoSCADA are running. Let's start by looking at program overruns, programs scheduled for execution, but which did not complete their run before they were scheduled again. I'll need to sort the list by the overrun column in descending order. Analysis follows a similar pattern. Scroll to the right, right click the column name and click sort descending to display from highest to lowest. In this example, the overruns count is high for several programs. Your first action is to consider reducing the execution frequency of each individual program. Of course, other system activity could be causing this too, so review other logic and any data processing load. Repeat the query sorting and use the queued executions lost column. These are only caused by logic programs configured to be triggered on change of an item, and there are only so many changes that the queue becomes full. I don't have any on the system here, but having queued executions lost is a symptom of having too many changes causing logic programs to run. You can increase the queue size, but that won't decrease the loading. So consider making the sum of the input variables no cache so that fewer inputs will cause 
Q execution and reduce the Q size to one so that only the latest inputs cause a fresh calculation. Also check by sorting descending on the right config count field. While I also have none in this example, you should check whether programs are writing to the configuration properties of database items. This kind of activity exerts a high load on the system because configuration change causes many background activities to occur. Try not to write to configuration properties or keep this to a minimum. We've covered the basics of logic configuration and execution, which can affect performance. I hope you found this review helpful. There's a lot to discover in our new versions, and we're continuing to innovate with new features in future releases. Please keep in touch with our blog, knowledge base and forums. And thank you.